As a Christian, whenever I am critical of the trans ideology or the trans movement or any of this madness going on, I usually hear this from non-Christians. Well, you're certainly not like Jesus. I thought, he isn't he all about love? And from Christians themselves, they'll say something like this. Well, Jesus sat at the table with tax collectors, with prostitutes, murderers, thieves. He broke bread with them and hung out with them. Okay, so let's tackle both of those head on. First off, was Jesus loving? Absolutely. If he wasn't, he wouldn't have given himself as the perfect sacrifice for our sinful nature. So that's how loving he was. But above all else, Jesus embodies the truth. And he always spoke truth. You see, whenever he sat at the table with prostitutes, murderers, and thieves, it wasn't he who was changed by that encounter. It was always them. He never affirmed their behavior. He loved them so much that he called it out and said that this was leading to their destruction. And he offered them something better. That's what he did. That's what somebody who loves you does. They speak truth to you in spite of the fact that you may hate them for it, that you, they may alienate you from them, but they are willing to do that because they have so much love for you. So when I'm critical of any of the trans ideology or the trans movement, it's because I love the people that are engaged in it. I certainly don't want to affirm their behavior and I don't celebrate what they do, but I can have a genuine love for them and to seek their salvation. That's what I do. That's the loving thing to do. The unloving thing to do is to go along with a delusion that is only harming people. That's not very loving. That is very cowardice. It lacks courage, which is one of the virtues that you need before you have love. You have to be courageous and willing to take the outcome of speaking truth. Anyway, I hope this has unpacked this a bit for you. I do appreciate you watching. Uh, post any comments, any thoughts you have related to this. Uh, you can always follow me in my Rumble, my Locals account. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I will see you next time.